Hi guys, it's Sandman UK here. Sorry I've not been around. I've been too busy with work lately, doing stupid shifts, about 13 hours a shift. But before we get on with the video, this is uh, my Lacius Flavus Queen with brand new eggs and plenty of workers. I managed to get some excellent footage right in the test tube of them doing all sorts. Anyway, let's take a look at last week's ant question. What did you find your queen ants? We have some interesting answers. Ants New Zealand likes to look under logs and under rocks. This is pretty much what I do when I go looking for ants. I especially go, I like to go to forests or any places where it's um, countryside, public footpaths, sort of thing like that. Not not on the streets. It's a lot easier to find them that way. Um, Alex likes to find them during the flights. I can understand that a lot of people like to find them during the flights because when you find a brand new queen, it's a fresh start. You know, you're making, a, you're bringing up a colony yourself from the beginning. Same with ant keeping for him, he does the same. Uh, ant Devon likes to look everywhere. He's been looking for Lacius, and uh, there's plenty of nests in his school, so I'm guessing he's pl uh, finding a lot of uh, Lacius there. Lacius are pretty common uh, in terms in the UK. You can literally find them everywhere. Um, Lacius flowers, however, also known as the meadow ant. She, for me, it was very difficult to find some. Um, I had to order some online because I was struggling to find some. I had some in my parents' back garden last year, a big massive nest. I tried to get at the queen and failed miserably. But uh, I just decided to leave them to it and not dig them up at all. And I've left them in my mum and dad's garden. So I said to my mum and dad, it looks like they were making massive... Um, the, the, the eggs were massive so I'm guessing they were making young queens so that nest in my parents garden is a Lacey's Flavis nest and eventually it's it, they're gonna do a nuptial flight eventually probably probably in another year or so I reckon they'll be ready to do the first nuptial flight it's a, it's a really big colony um, but anyway guys this is the footage of my Lacey's Flavis queen she didn't appreciate me disturbing her at first so she did go a little little bit panicky the workers are collecting all the little eggs but yeah um i tried counting the workers in here i'm not entirely sure how many workers are in this test tube uh two four six eight ten maybe twelve workers yeah i think there's about twelve workers with her in this test tube um the camera itself i'm, I'm planning on buying a new camera so I can give you guys a bit, a better, um, better video quality for for watching the ants because at the moment I'm using a mobile phone to record and I don't feel like it gives me that quality that I'm looking for. So at the moment I'm saving up some pennies from work um, to put towards a decent camera for 1080p recording, you know, so we can get some really nice footage. Uh, but as you can see here, she's doing really well. This is out of all the Lacius queens I've got. I've got f what is it? One, two. I've got four queens, four test tubes. This one, it's way ahead. I don't know why. They all was from last summer when I ordered them online. They're all from last summer. She's way ahead. Um, she literally lays eggs within like two, f within like what four weeks. To, there's more workers, and then she's laying more eggs. She's she's insane. But yeah. Um, anyway, guys, I'll leave you with the footage, and don't forget at the end of the video, um, take a look at this uh, week's ant question.
And for this week's hand question, guys, what would be your perfect outworld? In other words, what would be your perfect outworld setup? For example, for me, mine is a natural, a natural display in an acrylic nest attached by a test tube to the nest. Um, obviously, it would have features in there, such as maybe a little pond, you know, a little bit of where they can get fake rainwater from, um, some like branches and stuff and sticks and rocks and stuff you know to make it look a lot more like uh, the natural environment when they go outside of the nest to search in their outworld. I wonder what would you guys think of a perfect outworld for your ants? Please leave a comment in the comment section below don't forget to like the video and share thank you for watching please subscribe please subscribe you guys mean everything to me i appreciate you guys as a community and that is what my channel is all about it's about bringing all ant lovers together and all ant keepers together where we can discuss about ant keeping and we're, we are going to make this channel into an amazing community i like to thank you guys personally and um stay tuned for next week's video thank you